What's up, good people? This is not it. This is not it. This is not the big pullback. This is not the recession. This is not the crash. I don't believe. Okay. I said that this morning, just before uh, opening bell, even as the market was selling off. Okay. So well, I'm going to talk about uh, earnings. I'm going to talk about a little crypto, but first I want you guys to watch and see why the market actually sold off. Wait. Yes, let's start out with initial jobless claims, 207,000. That's much lower than we were expecting. We are looking for a number closer to 220,000. In the rearview mirror, we have 212,000. And by the way, uh, five out of the last seven readings have been 212,000. Never seen that before. It makes me wonder about these numbers, truly. Continuing claims, much lower than expected, 1,781,000. 1,781,000. That is the lowest level going all the way back to January 12th, the week of January 12th. That is a big drop. And last week's moved down from 1,812, also under to 1,796. That is a big deal. Now let's get to the money numbers. GDP, first look, first quarter. A disappointment, 1.6%. We're looking for a number almost a full percentage point higher. 1.6 is the weakest growth on a quarterly uh, basis going back to the second quarter of 22 when it was negative, minus six-tenths of a percent. Consumption, a half a percent weaker than expected at 2.5%. 2.5% would be the weakest since the uh, second quarter of last year when it was 0.8%. If we look at the price index, it's higher, 3.1%. We're expecting 3%. In the rearview mirror, 1.6%. Moving in the wrong direction, this comps to the third quarter of last year when it was up 3.3. If we look at the price index core on a quarter-over-quarter -quarter basis, it leaped to 3.7. We're expecting 3.4. In the rearview mirror is 2%. 3.7 is the hottest. Well, it's the hottest since the first quarter of last year. It exactly equals the second quarter of last year. Now, real quickly, let's take care of some business on some lesser important numbers. If we look at the trade balance for the month of March, it came in exactly as expected at minus 91.8 billion. Retail inventories less than expected, only up three tenths. We we're looking for up five tenths. And finally, wholesale inventories actually dropped. Minus four tenths of a percent. Minus four tenths of a percent. That's the biggest negative month over month drop since June of last year. Yields, of course, paying very, very close attention to those GDP numbers. How do you spell stagflation? Now, as you can see here, we are off the session lows. We could see that the Dow was down by, you know, 600 points. Now we're um, rebounding a bit <clears throat> with an hour and a half left to close and bail at the time of filming this. Uh, let's see what the last half hour of the market tells us. We can see uh, NASDAQ down 140%. Okay, so jobless claims are slowing. GDP was supposed to be positive 2.4, but it actually came in 1.6. So much lower than expected gross domestic product, right? So those are the data points and that's why the stock market took a tank today. But it was surprising what's happening with crypto. We're going to cover that in a minute. Uh, <clears throat> still surprising at this moment. All right. So tomorrow we have PCE for Q1. PCE will tell another story about Inflation. Inflation is what? Sticky. It's sticky. It's sticky, sticky, sticky. All right. Let's look at what's happening right now. We got Microsoft uh, soon to be reporting. And uh, let's just take a look at Microsoft. <clears throat> you guys know I uh, buy the rumor, sell the news, right? You guys know that's the way I do it. Let's see if it would have worked here. No, it really wouldn't have. Well, we don't know yet because uh, they haven't reported yet. But as we could see over the last five days, it's been trending up. Remember, I always buy the rumor, sell the news when it comes to these plays. And then some plays I just don't get into. I am not into Microsoft. I have Microsoft for my long positions, but I'm not playing earnings here because it just it's just not clear to me. It may be clear to you and it's, it's just not clear to me. 
Either way it goes, after earnings, somebody's going to say, I told you so, and somebody's going to say, I should have, would have, could have, right? But don't be anxious. A lot of people are just anxious. Give me the hot play. Give me the hot play. I need to do an option. I need to do an option. No, you don't. Sometimes you just need to add to your long positions, all right? And it doesn't matter if your position is here and it comes and it falls from here to here, all right? Good people, we made this mistake with Tesla. Just because you think it's coming to $100, I stand, I stand accused, right? If it falls all the way down to 101, buy, all right? So anything I say is not a suggestion for you to buy, hold, or sell. So we could see, let's go back to it. Microsoft, soon to report, but you can see that in the last day, which is today, now it's trending up. So over the week, yeah, it's actually been trending up. And then we had the fall. Now, this fall was boom because of the bad data, right? So um, that's what I'm going to say about Microsoft. We will see after closing bell or by the time you see this. But look at Meta. Look at what happened to Meta, right? So here's what's crazy. Meta, so, so Tesla missed earnings and what? That stock popped up. Meta beat earnings and it dropped. It dropped a lot. Now, I told you guys that I believe it's going to drop more. But in the same breath, I also told you guys that I'm buying. And I started buying. I started buying at 419. And I started buying up from 419 to 420. So I bought from 419 all the way up to 420, even though I think it could take a more of a hit this year. I'm being just transparent with you guys. I'm not going to tell you guys one thing and do another. So that may seem contradictory to some of you guys, but I'm looking out five to seven years, right? So if you can't stand it being read for a few days, you're in the wrong business. You don't need to be investing, okay? Or you're new to the stock market because that's just not the way it works. All right, Tesla. Let's look at Tesla. Tesla's still up above 166. Now, what we want to do is we want to hold Tesla uh, over 160, right? 160 is where we want to stay above on Tesla, right? And if it stays above that, we got, uh, let's say support is at 160, okay? Say support is at 160. I should have pulled up a chart, but it's doing good to stay over 160. And that's what we want. Remember, I told you guys when I was buying it at 140 and 142, all right? And uh, so now it proved to be a good trade. Could it fall lower than this? Absolutely it could. Do you expect more downward pressure this year? Yes, I do. But there again, this is me. You do you. I don't mind buying at this level because I did, even though I believe it has some short term, it could go down short term, could. That's not a positive. A year from now, two years from now, three years from now, do I think it'll be much higher than this? Yes, I think it'll be twice this much three years from now. So I'm not going to try to time the, the bottom perfectly. For those of you that know how to do that, congratulations. You, you share your crystal ball with the family, right? So, hey, you guys already know that this is brought to you by Stock Up You before we go into crypto, okay? And uh, listen, we have a crypto chapter in here, learn and earn invest in you first. Okay. Let's go to crypto. Look at that. Good people on a day with all of this bad news, right? With all of this bad news, crypto is like, eh, oh, well, crypto's holding strong. I like what crypto is showing us, uh, at these levels and what the, with the negative, uh, uh, data that's coming in with inflation and, and stagflation, uh, potentially. All right. We're not officially in stagflation yet, but it looks like we could be uh, headed that way. All right. So let's look at this. So if we could see here, uh, Bitcoin, look at this, look at this. Bitcoin is still at 64, seven. That's insane. Look at that. Just holding strong change. Look at that positive actually. And so I, I, I could deal with that. And you got some of the other ones, Ethereum, all right, Solana is down like 1.70. Hey, I have more Solana than I have Ethereum right now, okay? Let me know what your position is. Do you have 
Just these two. Don't not not we're not talking about memes right now. Do you have more Solana or do you have more Ethereum? Let me know what do you have and why between those two only. Okay. Don't talk about anything else. Solana and Ethereum. I just want to see. Right. All right. So as we look at the memes, look at this with the market taking a hit in the last hour, we got mostly green, a little red, mostly green in the last 24 hours, you know, taking away those and sheep. Remember those are going to move the less or the least Pepe's up 3%. My baby bunk is up 13%. Bunk is killing it. Last seven days, Bunk Baby is up a hundred percent. Let's say ninety-nine percent. I got a little, I got a little ahead of myself. Bunk is up ninety-nine percent in the last seven days. Absolutely killing it, C killing it. Okay, so that's what I want to bring you guys uh, before earnings. Let me know, uh, leave me a comment on anything I said, right? Anything I said. Crypto is showing itself to be strong. Um, I haven't, you know, I put a tiny, tiny bit. I literally have $50 of the miners. I'm not even going to look at the miners. I'm just, I'm moving extremely slow on it. Hey, I'm going to leave it right there. I'm running out of this space. Live, love, laugh, and learn.